Mesdames et messieurs, je vous prie d'accueillir le député de Beauce, M. Maxime Bernier. Conservative MP Maxime Bernier ventured into the Quebec language minefield last week. We don't need Bill 101 to protect the French language, said Bernier. They know we speak French in Quebec, and we will speak French for a long time. Bernier voiced his opinion on a Halifax radio station, but his comments quickly spread across Canada and took hold on Quebec airwaves. And the Parti Québécois could not be more pleased. PQ leader Pauline Marois pounced on the opportunity to comment. Mr. Bernier should come in Montreal more often, uh, where we can see there is an anglicization now. It's been more than 33 years since the first PQ government passed Bill 101, claiming that Quebec's French culture was threatened by North America's growing English-speaking population. Bill 101, officially making French the everyday language of work, communication and pre-college education, is still making headlines. And that appears to be just the way PQ leader Pauline Marois wants it. The PQ has been fighting an uphill battle for months, lagging behind in provincial polls even when Liberal Premier Jean Charest was facing construction and judge nomination scandals. But one subject has finally propelled her forward. On achète des droits, Monsieur le Président. C'est ça qu'on est en train de faire. Un gouvernement qui permet qu'on s'achète un permis de garderie, qui permet qu'on s'achète un juge, qui permet qu'on s'achète un contrat de construction. Puis maintenant, on va s'acheter la possibilité d'envoyer ses enfants à l'école anglaise, qu'on soit francophone ou immigrant, Monsieur le Président. C'est ça que ça veut dire. If adopted by the PQ, Marois' new platform would prevent allophones and francophones from attending Quebec's English junior colleges, or CIGEPs. I think they're just try, trying to drum up support. Um, it seems to me that a lot of the desperation of the Parti Québécois has always produced desperate resolutions. The Maria Peluso is a political science professor at Concordia University and a former board member of Alliance Quebec. She thinks that extending Bill 101 to collegial institutions is a step in the wrong direction. This has got to be the only province and it's ridiculous where we have the largest percentage percentage of private schooling it then forces these immigrants these allophones these anglophones to simply reject the public school system in favor of the private school system now how beneficial is that in a province that didn't even have public education you know, a full commitment to public education until the Parent Commission in 1964. Makes no sense. It speaks to a desperation. We tried to contact PQ language critic Pierre Curzi about why his party wants to adopt an extension of Bill 101 to CGEPs. But he was unavailable for comment. We did, however, speak to Monsieur Curzi's political aide, Simon Prou. In Quebec City. Pourquoi est-ce qu'on le dit maintenant? Pourquoi est-ce qu'ils veulent le faire maintenant? Pourquoi est-ce qu'ils veulent le faire maintenant? Oui. Ben, c'est parce qu'il y a plein de statistiques et d'études, dont celle de M. Curzi qui a été publiée euh, là, il y a deux semaines, qui mentionne clairement et pertinemment bien que Montréal est en train de s'angliciser. Et quand on sait que l'île de Montréal est le cœur même du Québec, on peut s'entendre à une forme d'anglicisation euh, à long terme. The PQ claims that the French culture is still in danger, but politically, Marois has a lot to gain by broaching the subject now. Marois faces a leadership vote in April, and many speculate that popular Bloc Québécois leader Gilles Duceppe might step into the race. So this fight to save Quebec identity could help Marois save her job. It's very disturbing to be here in Quebec and hear uh, some of the rhetoric around Québécois identity. Um, so the application of Bill 101 and how the, 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 their concerns, their legitimate concerns are framed are critical. But it does create a lot of insecurity and, and fear. There could be even more insecurity and fear. Marois has just released a 52-page document of party objectives. And the number one priority? To hold a referendum and separate Quebec from Canada. This would be Quebec's third referendum, with the previous two being unsuccessful. But the most recent, in 1995, came down to just one percentage point. The main source of dissent was Montreal, particularly the western tip of the island. Currently, the PQ holds 52 seats in the National Assembly, but only seven from the Montreal region. And with the heaviest percentage of Anglophones in Quebec, 
Analysts say the PQ is unlikely to improve that. But whether this is a war over culture or just playing to the faithful in an effort to survive politically, Marois seems intent on keeping Bill 101 in the spotlight, at least until the next provincial election in 2013. For Polytalk, I'm Adam Avrashi.